are you? Um, so I wanted to pop on and make a quick video today. Um, it is this design here. Oh. <sighs> Whoops. It's this design here that I redid on a um, wood circle for you. And it's done with dotting tools. So if you're interested in seeing how to make this design, then keep watching. All right, there's a list of supplies that I used. Um, now I painted a wood circle matte black to start. And I'm going to start with um, a white dot right in the middle. And that is a 11 millimeter white dot. And then I'm going to go around this in a crisscross with um, two different color paints. One's Golden Sunset and the other is called Lemon. And those are both done in a three and three quarter millimeter um, dotting tool. That is a crochet hook from Susan Bates. Next, I'm moving to a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, and that paint is called Cloudless. And I'm going to go right in between and on the outside of each of the uh, a set of two of the yellow dots there, all the way around. Next, I'm going to get a 10 millimeter um, dotting tool, and I'm going to use Petunia Purple. And we're right in between on the outside of uh, each of the blue dots there. Okay, I'm going to take um, it's a, another 3.75 millimeter. Um, crochet hook and I'm going to put one dot on the outside edge, the very outside edge of the purple and that is um, called Bimini, Bimini Blue. It's like a turquoise color. And I'm going to take my um, largest nail stylus tool and we go down one side, kind of hug that uh, purple circle there on each side and we go down the other side. And I'm going to do that all the way around. All right, I'm going to go with a five and a half millimeter um, crochet hook, and it's called Real Red. And I'm just going to go right down in the bridge part of each of the turquoise walk down dots, all the way around, right down the divot there. And I'm going to take my largest nail stylus tool, and with that same red, I'm going to start at the very edge and dot it, and then walk down one side, and then I redip it, and then I dot it again on the first dot, and then I walk down the other side. And do that same thing all the way around. This uh, mandala kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you've seen the movie Frozen. I have two little girls, so we watch it all the time. Um, but it kind of looks like one of the characters' dress colors, Anna. That's what it reminded me of. Okay, this is um, my smallest dotting nail stylus tool. Um, and that's just white. And I'm going to go right on top of the bimini blue and then around to each side. And the dots just get smaller as you go, as you walk it down. And then I retouch that first dot just to make it even on the other side. Okay, I'm picking that same small um, nail stylus. And this is, um, it's, it looks pretty pink. It's, I just mixed um, some of that red and some of that white that I've got there. I just mixed the, the two of them together and even them out and uh, just did a light pink accent right on the edge of that red. 
down one side and then down the other. I'm going to go back with the lemon and I'm going to just, it's the smallest nail stylus dotting tool again. Dotting right on top of the white. I'm walking it down one side and then redotting it again on the main dot and walking it down the other side. I like to incorporate my colors um, at least once if I can. Okay, so now I'm going on the golden sunset. Um, I'm going to go with my largest dotting tool, uh, the nail stylus, um, in, in the lemon color. And then on the lemon color, I'm going to put the golden sunset. So I'm just going to do opposites there. So we're just layering here. And this is where you really get a lot of your good detail. Um, now I'm putting um, a dot of the Bimini Blue right on top of all the cloudless blue. And that is with the 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, this is a color called bright blue. I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook um, and putting it right on top of the petunia purple on the inside edge towards the center. This is a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. I'm just showing you the red and the white. I just mix a little tiny bit and I get a little pink. You only need a little teeny tiny bit for this one. And I'm going to put it right on the inside of the red, all the way around there. This is uh, the next color is electric blue. And that is again, it's 3.75, uh, 3 and 3 quarter millimeter crochet hook, and it's going to go right on the inside edge of the, uh, on top of the bright blue, or the electric blue, I think. Okay, that is uh, cloudless again with my biggest uh, nail daughter right on top of the bimini blue in the, on the uh, center circle. And then we're putting um, a dot right on top of the pink, and that's just the red again. So it's just layered red, pink, red. I'm going to go back with the petunia and put that right on top of the electric blue. So it's uh, petunia purple, bright blue, electric blue, and then petunia purple right on top of there again. So it's four layer. And I'm using, uh, I think it's my largest dotting tool. It could be a medium size. There's, yeah, the medium size. And I'm putting some cloudless right on top of the bimini blue that goes around the purple. And I walk it all the way down to the inner edge, all the way around. Now, I don't know if you're on uh, social media much, but um, feel free to join my Facebook group, um, L Mays Mean Doll Sharing. Um, also, you can find my uh, Facebook homepage at Facebook at how to paint dot mandalas. Lots of tips and sharing on there. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.